Good morning and welcome to the channel The Vaping Piper. Um, the last video, or maybe one before, I can't remember, but one of the latest ones was the Peter Stockerby, um, the luxury bullseye flake that I reviewed that is um, very nice indeed. It is a Virginia Perique with black Cavendish center hole in it. So I'm, I hope you watched that video. Uh, it is now one of my favorite uh, blends. I mentioned in that video that I want to try out the Peter Stockerby Luxury Navy Flake that I received from the US. Uh, the Country Squire had them in stock. And uh, yeah. So in here I've got four ounces of most beautiful flake. Um, yeah, really, really nice looking flakes. It's a bit, uh, well, a bit on the shredded side, not shredded, but you know, broken up a bit. Uh, but nevertheless, really, really nice flake. Oh, lovely. Um, now, when it comes to vapors, Virginia and Perique blends, which, which, which this is, um, I've got one. I've got a few that are very nice, but one in particular, um, the Salty Dogs by Dan Tobacco. Now, I haven't got it here this minute, but you'll see on the screen a um, one of those beautiful uh, plugs. That is, well, um, you have to slice it, but it is such a good tobacco. I stocked up on those. Wow, <laughs> I've got quite a lot of those and they'll mature very well over the years. Anyway, so um, the one who recommended me to buy this is said to me that this is, in his opinion, one of the best vapors. So yeah, stiff competition this one has got. So let's try it and see what I think of it. Um, smell test first. It is fruity. Salty Dogs is very fruity, natural fruitiness to it, rather than, it's not aromatic of course. Well, you get this dried fruit, a bit tangy, a bit of a sweet, spicy smell to it. There is the Perique, but as you know, good vapors, the Perique is minute. Um, the Orlick Golden Slice is got very small amount, so it's more Virginia based, but I would call it a very mild Perique touch to it. Um, this one here, I think it's got a bit more of the Perique in it. I'm not entirely sure until we smoke it, but um, the Salty Dogs, the Perique is so perfectly um, proportioned to give that Virginia just the added touch of spicy bit of you know floral yeah so let's try this one as well so I shredded uh, a bit and I'm actually smoking my Meerschaum I call it Gary's Meerschaum um, I'm trying to get it to color but I should really smoke it more often to truth. I love my brides as well, but the Meerschaum is, yeah, very much my favorite style of smoking as of late. Um, yeah, very nice. And also, um, I spoke about Meerschaum, so I'm not going to repeat everything about Meerschaum, but it does deliver the flavors the way they are. Yeah have my coffee in the morning. Let's hope it remains quiet in the garden. Right, so let's give this a go. Oh, before we do, let's bring up the flavor profile. Not much to read. I went to uh, tobacco reviews even less. So on uh, Country Squire, it says, a uh, very mature, old belt, flu-cured Virginias. Virginias, pro so uh, uh, maybe there's a few types of Virginias here, I'm not sure. 
spiced with Louisiana Perique, a fan favorite at the Country Squire. Yeah, so this is basically the very short description of it on the Country Squire. Hmm, fruity. good actually too soon to say hmm yeah classic so you're tasting the Virginia on the front tangy but nutty, but bready, grassy, a very much like the smell. Along you do taste that perique, which is a fine perique. It gives you the right spice, bit of fig, plum type of floralness to it, fruitiness to it. Normally the smell comes, comes across as apricots, dried apricots. It's a lovely smell. When in here you, you smell something else, like a um, floral, fruity. And it comes across in the smoke as well, that fruitiness. I think the salty dogs is just a bit more fruitier. <clears throat> but as, as the Virginia and Perique balance, it is very close. Really nice. I had the whole um, debate the other days. We were sitting um, I don't know if you remember but in the last video of the of the luxury bullseye, I mentioned that I've got a business meeting later on that day. And I was hoping that one of them is a pipe smoker to break the ice, um, that we can have something in common to discuss before we get to know each other and get down to the business side of things. <coughs> Guess what? One of them uh, knew me through my vaping channel. Would you believe? I was a bit awkward. He says to me, aren't you, and he was like try struggling to find, to find my name. He says, the guy who, who vapes tobacco, couldn't believe it. <laughs> um, yeah, he turned out to be a very nice guy who actually is vaping to cut off his very heavy smoking habit. And we were talking about smoking a pipe and it became a very lively debate. Is pipe smoking um, a healthier method of, a uh, healthier method of smoking that considering cigarettes and my method of smoking a pipe on occasion, even though I'm a full-time vapor. Oh, it was a lovely debate. I think at the end I managed to, to convince them and bring a, a, along my, my point of view. But anyway, so we were talking about different type of blends. None of them were pipe smokers actually. And one of them said, if I would have picked up a pipe, what blend would you recommend? So the initial thought I had to say is aromatic. 
Mladena se tem what 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 makes you enjoy your tobacco your cigarettes um and he said well the the nicotine the I, he said i never gave it some thought but i like the cigarette flavor i suppose so i said to him you know if you smoke a pipe and then you pick up your cigarette you would be disgusted by the taste of the cigarette compared to pipe tobacco it is two different worlds um pipe tobacco is the real deal while cigarettes is paper chemicals and shredded virginia to bits low quality bit of burley in it as well most probably so i suggested to him I'm going to send him um a, a bit of my uh, salty dogs shredded and I'll buy him a corn cob and I'll give it a go so I'm, while I'm smoking this one here I'm thinking that I could actually send them a few flakes of this blend as well because to be honest it is quite close to the salty dogs uh but i think the salty dogs is got a bit more fruitiness to it and if you're wondering how that meeting ended well thank god it was a successful meeting and yeah the guy who knew me from my vaping channel is now on my in my phone and we'll be in touch in regards of perhaps in picking up a pipe so you see you never know it's a small world out there but that was something for the books <laughs> yeah i wonder if i leave a comment on this video Let's see anyway um coming back to this blend well it is a very tasty vapor blend that is no doubt it's got the perfect um balance and nuances of a good quality virginia now that says here virginia is i cannot detect which virginia is what really but whatever the virginia is here it is a good quality virginia uh of virginia virginias um bready but naughty he got a very nice sweet note a tangy note um bit of grassiness and the perique is just there to support it to give it that dimension of interest that spicy floral spiciness to it bit of fig plum more fig the earthy that spicy floralness to it just perfect when you retro inhale it you taste it more mm yeah i tasted it more um the salty dogs is just i think a bit more fruitier and more sort of i enjoy that just a tad more of course of that dried fruit fruitiness that i'm not sure how is it the barrique or the virginia i'm not sure what is it because it was fermented in such a way that is that block that plug retains more the oils I'm not sure what it is. It's just a salty dog just a, a bit more fruity. But the balance between them is very close. Um <clears throat> if I was um I wouldn't know which I both tobaccos were shredded and not allowed to smell them before I smoked them because smell gives away a lot of the blend and smoke them both in the same time 
from my palate, I will notice the fruitier salty dogs. But if someone who has never smoked salty dogs or did not smoke the Peter Stockerby Luxury and, uh, Navy Flake and you give them both, I think it'd be hard pressed to tell much of a difference. And that is a good thing, um, showing how good this Peter Stockerby is. Um, the Luxury Navy Flake. Yeah. The bowl goes down so fast. Yeah, really nice day today and <coughs> full schedule barbecue as the weather is gorgeous. Meet up with some friends and I'm gonna bring this, I'm supposed to bring this with, because I told them I'm gonna record a review on this this morning. So I'll take this jar. Um, and yeah, share it around, see what others think of it. So with the, the luxury bullseye one will be there as well. And one of the guys is bringing salty dogs with him. He bought it based upon my recommendations and he loves it as well. It's a, such a good blend. If you can get hold of it, you can get hold of it in Germany for a very good price. I don't want to say how much you'll think I'm crazy, but yeah, a lot. <laughs> Listen, I, I I enjoy all my blends that I review, really. I never came across any blend I don't like. But those who are exceptionally good to my, my taste buds, I stock up on them. Yeah, makes common sense, doesn't it? Lovely, lovely blend this one. And it goes well with the coffee. Yeah. Right, so uh, this was my review on the Peter Stockerby Luxury Flake, Luxury Navy Flake. A delicious Virginia and Perique blend. Um, I got it from the Country Squire, it, put it in Google, see where you can get it, uh, but definitely worth getting. I'm going to get a bit more, because this is going to go quite down um, this afternoon. But I must tell you though, that the flake is a gorgeous flake. Someone told me that um, all the golden slice should learn a thing or two of Peter Stockerby. Well, their, their flake is also gorgeous, but um, this is just a gorgeous flake. I mean, it is, you want to eat it, basically. It is nearly edible. The smell is phenomenal, phenomenal smell. And that fruitiness is more in the smell, but when you smoke it, that the salty dogs, just the, the fruitiness comes along in the smoke as well. But here you also get that fig, uh, um, apricot, and a lovely sweet spicy note to it. Hey, grass, yeah, beautiful. Okay, um, I think the bowl is down to just about. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take the rest and I'm gonna smoke a bit later on another bowl just for the road another just to get my this, this flavor in my mouth before I finish this recording oh <laughs> yeah lovely and it burns well Okay, with that, I'll finish this video. Righty-o, so um, 
If you smoke this blend, please let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you smoke both the Salty Dogs and the Peter Stocker Bee, what do you think? Which one do you prefer? Are they equal? Or which uh, do you prefer one of, of, of another? What do you think? I would love to hear your, your feedback and comments. Right. So, since this is recorded down on Sunday, I would like to wish you all a nice weekend. And uh, I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye for now.